Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the dawn here in Amakala Private Game Reserve in the Eastern Cape, where we have got some Cape Mountain Zebra. What a splendid morning indeed. Now, the full moon, the blue moon in Pisces is bringing all sorts of energetic shifts, all sorts of emotional changes into our lives if you embrace that. Sandy, you are buckled up and ready with your coffee. Welcome on board. Well, we're just trying to follow up on some mountain reef buck, and there's some alarm calling going on here. You never heard a mountain reef buck make a noise before, and uh, they're all bolting. Oh, there's a jackal chasing them. The jackal came through the mix there. I wonder if the jackal's probably going to go for one of the youngsters. Caught up with a couple of our reed buck again, and they're not happy. This individual has been doing a very high-pitched whistle. Let's see if it does it again. There's more off to the left behind the thickets. The antelopes look different. How they fit into the landscape and how they feed. Long necks, long bodies, short necks, short bodies. Depends where they feed in the landscape. You consider the steenbok, a very small animal. So they're coming back on the side. We might get some joining in a moment. They consider the smaller antelope. They have a very small body. And they have to have very nutrient-rich food. So they're very territorial for a specific area, for the amount of food. Great. Uh, we, we arrive here at uh, Lekka Dam. We, we see this junior boy. It's the, uh, coming down to the water. It's in the nature of all species. Once they get to the water, they have to, of course, check around and make sure that there's no danger around the area. No lions, leopards, hyenas. And they take slowly because if you rush, you might be surprised. How giraffe drink water? If I, I, I talk about giraffe is vulnerable, you see what I'm meaning, what I'm talking about. It can't, talk, it can't drink water in that position. That is the position that I'm talking about. If anything comes behind, he cannot able to fight back. Kicking, it's not going to happen. He might, he might fall down inside the water. And once the giraffe is down, in a shock, he cannot get up. It's easy for the giraffe to get suffocated by the, the lion. Is how, giraffe, how lions, in most cases, they kill giraffe. Tall species and vulnerable when they're down to the water. Look how they bend down. You can see when they get up, you shake the head a little bit. How cool is the spider web? It is the most extensive catchment web I think I have seen in a long time. I think the only one that comes close is there used to be a really big one on the northern boundary, but it's since actually completely faded away. So the catchment webs have completely been destroyed over time because the nest is no longer active. But here in the sun, a massive catchment web on a community nest. Wow, that is so extensive. 
You can see all the little gaps in that nice fluffy looking white silk where insects have gone right through instead of being caught like they should have. And they've actually destroyed part of the web. But I suppose that's one of the benefits of having 50 odd spiders in one little nest like that. There's a lot more hands on deck when you need to repair that web. We have indeed got some leopard luck and he is giving us a bit of a challenge. It's tortoise pad, it's the big male leopard. Oh, we had a feeling today when we found those tracks, we had to try and come and follow. And luckily, as we were heading down in this direction, someone else spotted him and called us straight away and said, we've got him, we've got him. Oh, he's on a territorial patrol, he's moving. It's my first time seeing him in almost six months. I'd forgotten how massive this cat is. He's an absolute bus. He's huge. Look at him. Oh my goodness, boy. There he is. He's sitting. Yes, he's laid down. Oh, thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. Ah, tortoise pan, big boy. Ah, oh, yes, this is exactly what we needed. A beautiful big male leopard after a couple of days of no leopards. And he is nice and relaxed now. It's getting hot, so I think he just wants some shade. I can't blame him. Can't blame him. Oh, I think he's just taking a bit of a breather. So as it gets hotter and hotter and he moves on his patrols, he's going to get quite warm quite quickly because he's spending a lot of energy. Every day we're looking for leopards, we're looking for lions on Juma, we're looking for whatever we can find. But when you have a big male leopard like this that's on a patrol, we get to see him moving as opposed to just a sleepy cat, you know? Even just a sleepy cat is good enough, but to see a leopard on the move, busy patrolling, just fantastic, you know? And for such a big boy to be out and about, this is potentially one of the biggest male leopards that, that we will see. You know, he is so wide. He's just massive. Very, very big boy. 